Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just decolonize you. You're watching The Advocate on PLUS TV Africa. Look Before You Leap is a useful adage that essentially says to me, consider the outcome of your action before you take it. Does Nigeria need multi-party democracy is the question. So the INEC, Independent National Electoral Commission, purportedly the registered 74 political parties via the network news on the 6th of February 2020, only to start running around to serve the political parties with tacit letters of deregistration days after. It is reminiscent of a culture of disrespect for governance because proper regulation demands dialogue, transparency, mutual respect and decorum. The INEC seems to still be under the yoke of the military regime where parties were abrogated, promulgated, proscribed and birthed all over again by military dictates and with the force of the jackboot. Even the idea by which INEC executives have been seen to make statements to the effect that five political parties will remain in Nigeria, that commercial political parties will be deregistered, or that it is easier to register a political party than to register a limited liability company in Nigeria, as wrong as these statements are, are totally antithetical to the concept of proper regulation. I believe the INEC has serious lessons to learn in the arts and science of regulation of anything. Apparently, the politics of Nigeria has poisoned uh, other sectors until we get the politics right from regulation to implement, implementation, no hope. But a great debate is thrown up as to how many parties Nigeria needs. The truth is that in a proper democracy as we hope to be, no one can or should legislate the number of political parties. It is irritating having a great number of political parties, it must be said, but the only crime in that is irritation, <laughs> as well as the cost of printing long ballot papers, no more. A worse crime we have been living with and which we seem very prepared to continue living with is the crime of malgovernance. Nigeria is one of the most corrupt nations on earth with rising inequality, illiteracy, and all forms of poverty, what they call multi-dimensional poverty. These ills have been made worse by the political parties which seem to have been etched onto the minds of Nigerians as a result of having been around for long and providing abodes for our permanent politicians, who usually dash, dash from one to the other. A right-thinking person may suggest that it is time Nigerians try to overturn the status quo, a situation whereby everybody in the ruling party were also in the former ruling party, a situation where no one gets punished for jumping from one ruling party to the other with the sole aim of continuing with the gravy train. But that seems not to be a priority to Nigerians. Nigerians seem to be more interested in getting rid of the young parties, some of which actually are actually striving hard to cause a new thinking around our politics, a much required new thinking, no matter how hard that may be. Nigerians are not in support of the young parties because of several reasons. Many have no time to start looking into what those parties stand for. No time. Most Nigerians are also illiterate, unfortunately, and cannot muster the required intellectual gusto to start to engage on matters of ideology. And of course, we know that all it takes is maybe a mudu of Gary to convince a lot of our people. Yet other Nigerians are just irritated that some young people could ever imagine that they could champion a new cause for the polity. I seen, who are you? Where are you calling from? Then there was the failure of 2019 elections. Can we consider that a failure? How many institutions funded by honest money can go into elections in a country such as ours, where elections are driven by money and violence? How many young political parties can afford the money to purchase weapons and match the old ones bullet for bullet? None. 
Nigeria as a nation and society should press reset on our political system. But we seem to be saying we want more of the same. Nigeria, Nigeria needs a new way of doing politics. And it is among these new parties, perhaps, that we may find those gems of new thinking. Certainly not among the old. 20 years is enough time for them to have performed the magic, or at least show us where we may be heading. INEC must of necessity do its job of regulating political parties, absolutely. But that job must be done transparently, decorously, and legally performed. What is more, the INEC breached the Constitution, which was clear in its provi provision, even as amended under Section 225, Subsection A, B, and C, that all elections must be conducted down to the world level before a call can be made as to whether a party has fallen short or not. The debate rages on, but the 74 parties have sworn to immediately recover their mandates and uh, through the courts and to extract serious monetary damages from INEC for damaging their franchise. And I think we got a victory on Monday 17th of February from the courts. We must ensure that no government institution can so disdainfully treat any other institution or persons under their regulatory or supervisory purview. I want to completely disagree. Yeah. <laughs> I can see him shaking his head at yeah. times. I want to completely disagree. He's a member disagree. of PDP. I know, hey. I know he belongs the, to one of The only of two those. parties. Um, you, We're going to torpedo you, them anyway. You'll see... Uh, you said something. After the registration, I next started looking for offices, some of the offices, to, serve them. to even serve them. That mm. means these parties don't even exist. That means they did not try some, in Abinish. Some, let me finish. Let, let no, me, no, no, no. You are making them, a call on that. Some of yeah, them... Wait, 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 that means these political parties, majority of them only exist in briefcases. Oh, that's what I'm saying. And, and so, and really, that's because and that's why landed. during election we're here, and then we call some of them pretenders. Hmm. You don't wake up two months to election and you say you want to be president of Nigeria. You can torpedo any party if you start organization early. The end of one election cycle begins another one. But how many of these political parties after the election do you see or hear of that they are mobilizing, they are even holding congresses, they are electing local leaders? None. And so, even now, political parties that don't have offices, that don't even exist, how are you going to participate in local government elections if not only you exist to sell franchise or to sell, uh, if, if PDP uh, did not give somebody a ticket, he looks for one other fringe party. It's okay, you, you sell that ticket to the person. That's what we saw in the last election. And that is why somebody can be in um, uh, ACN, today and then after immediately after the primaries of ACN he didn't get it he moves to YPP he gets the, the ticket of YPP or he moves to Zenith mm -hmm. party and so you had candidates that even do not know the executive members of their party there's need to you agree there's need to sanitize the system mm. and that is why you had the inclusion of section 225 paragraph A in the fourth amendment and then if we're saying we are waiting for local state to conduct local government election. There are some states that we never conduct local government election because our laws are observed by breach. Mm. And, and so we can wait forever. At the end of the day, we are still the one that will criticize INEC tomorrow. Although this process is too cumbersome. And political parties, do you know that some political uh, parties will contest for governorship at the end of the day, they won't get two votes? Okay, uh, Libras, let, 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 let me take it so from there. So they should then. go and, sorry, quickly, they mm. should go and do their homework first, let us see membership, and then we'll take them seriously. Uh, let, me, let me take it from there, because I think there's a balancing that needs to be done. In as much as, yes, some of the points you make are valid, you know, um, if maybe if they were uh, no, some of them, I, 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 I do valid. identify that some of them are valid. But I, what I want to pick on is the fact that even the context for deregulating is, is, is yes. not appropriate. So that was what what, I even the ones that are left standing, what the criteria by which they're left standing is, is the money thing again. Is the no, no, no. No, I'm coming. You made your point. Let me land it. So, so he's saying that, you know, for example, when you were saying, oh, what are they doing? How are they mobilizing? Do you know how these people are even managing the monetary, the monetary uh, demands on them mm. to even have run the election in the first place? And you're telling somebody who is still recovering from yeah. having exhausted themselves and didn't get against the behemoths the of APC and PDP Ekene, who have more than a big tranche. Ekene, Those same people who are looting us election. and funding the elections. I'm coming. Let me, let me get on. Let me get what on. What you have, I can't get on. So, so, I must finish.
finish I'm what I'm saying. I must finish what I'm saying. So my point is really like, rather than even care about, because as it is, if you're talking about sanitizing, the whole thing must come down and start again. Let's get a proper criteria for electing, because I'd rather have a human being like this discussing affairs of the nation than the people we have sitting there, godfathers swapping between parties. So let's change the criteria entirely. Then you have my attention. So then we're not interested. The issue is. So uh, what what you have in those in. political parties? Yeah, 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 uh, political parties. So, Abi, am I not it right? Does. Yeah. It does. So, I don't see how INEC suddenly fe felt like they had the power to just deregister. Secondly, have I have a problem, and you two liberals, you should have that problem too, because we've talked about rule of law, processes, and everything. Absolutely. I don't like the way INEC went about this. It's all about money. Yeah. Mm, uh, I think so. Money, size, power, and, but the thing is, is um, you have to run a political party with money. Yeah. Absolutely, that, you, know, you do. And so it is how we get the money Absolutely. that's the problem. And that makes certain parties able to scale these yes. criteria, yes, uh, and others not. And because we all have a right to have our parties, uh, you have a party, if you meet, if you've got members, You've got financing. It doesn't yeah. matter how small. No matter you how can't small, yeah. push a man aside mm. because he's small. Mm. Um, well, and, th and that looks like what's beginning to happen. Look so at very quickly, I just want to say, I want to say that. Okay. NCNC, AG, NPC of old, they were run by members' contribution. Yes. Today, the so-called parties that you are consolidating are run by people dipping their hands into no, no, government money. Yeah. Now, number two, quick, quick, I, I would, not, I would uh, disagree with you that you believe that governors should be, should be at their whims and caprices when they run elections. The constitution no, is concerned no, about Nigeria, no, and especially no. people at the grassroots. Yes. Okay, that's why it's that because people are not even exhausted. If you don't have two hours, I won't come back. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> two hours for me alone. There you go. <laughs> the process of how we elect our leaders is always a conversation worth having. Absolutely. I'm told that Chuka has been on a particularly, a particularly necessary conversation for three weeks now, yeah. and it shows no sign of cooling off. Carry go, Chuka.